Hi everyone, my name is Twinkle and welcome back to my channel to another video where we are actually reigning with vacancies and good news after such a long time. I'm going to welcome you on my channel. Hi everyone, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply for Emirates. If you are actually looking forward to apply for this Middle East airline, this video is for you in which I'm going to tell you how to apply, how to fill the form. I'm going to take you through and help you, assist you with registration. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So first things first, just go on Google or just open the browser and write Emirates Careers. So you'll see something like this. Just go ahead and click on the cabin crew um, title and then accept, right? So first thing that you'll see here is Emirates cabin crew and their requirements. So I'm going to just quickly take you through the requirements. Requirements apart from being positive, confident, friendly and flexible, uh, very keen to help others, which is helpful. You need to be at least 21 years of age at the time of joining. Which also means if you are not 21, you'll have questions ki I have, uh, I'm 20, I'll be turning 21 in next two months or four months or five days or six days, guys, uh, will I be selected? The answer for this, nobody can answer you. There'll be people who will be 100% eligible and the competition is so high, so you sort of know the answer. There's no harm in applying, but whether or not you'll make it, it totally depends on the company and recruiters. So you can apply, there's no harm, but making it is not in our hands there's no answer to that okay another thing arm reach you all knows by standing on tiptoes you can actually if you can reach 212 cm then you're good to go if you're one less or two less you're not eligible minimum height criteria like unlike qatar airways in this airline you need to be of a minimum height of 160 cm so if you're not 160 cm but you can reach 212 you will still not make it if you're 160 but you cannot touch 212 no you will still not make it you need to be at least 160 cm and 212 cm reach should be there to be eligible that is non-negotiable so please don't ask me questions related to arm reach minimum height and age it's pretty clear next thing is high school graduation you need to be at least 12th grade should be completed results should be out fluency in english written and spoken both no visible tattoos while you're in emirates cabin crew uniform cosmetic and bandages bandage coverings aren't allowed either okay guys so with tattoos emirates is comparatively little relaxed if we compare to qatar airways if you have tattoos which are not visible while in uniform and uh, it's okay while wearing uniform we are not clear with tattoos like the tattoos are absolutely not visible then they will consider they might consider you it depends again but you still have a chance here unlike Qatar I was you just have don't have a chance so don't lie here uh, just honestly tell your tattoos but also where is it and if it's at all visible in the uniform or not so if it's not visible should be good can adapt to new people new places situations of course uh, it's not uh, new that you need to move to Dubai which is a great place to stay and uh, you'll have to move so it should be adaptable and physically fit for this demanding role with a healthy body mass index you can use any body mass index from Google and check if you are into that category or not even if you're not don't worry just apply and work on yourself or let them decide so this work role uh, actually as well as the role requirements there's a little more that great cabin crew member offers so these are just a very few things but there is much more that goes into the cabin crew role you need to be professional empathetic progressive visionary and cosmopolitan these are few qualities that should be reflected out of you and you will be very culturally uh, culturally aware of course you have to be because you'll be working in a multicultural environment with a lot of nationalities almost 130 to 140 you need to have these things and last but not the least you should be good with your grooming making a great first impression there's also a guideline so there's also a recruitment process which is explained here which is really good so if you have any questions regarding assessment day dress code this is a little bit of a guideline that you need to follow shoes dress code face hair if you need to get your photographs clicked also follow this uh, pictogram here and also how you need to dress follow this then you can actually go ahead and read the recruitment process where they talk about first process being cv review and application first your resume will give experience your resume 
gives us information on your experience and background relevant to our recruitment process don't get confused about cv resume here don't be very particular about words if you know me you've seen my resume builder videos resume series you will know how to create a great cv i'm actually going to link that in the description go ahead make use of that 30,000 people have gone and watched it. You should watch it. It will be very helpful for you. And I can guarantee that to you. So yes, that will be your first round. Second should be group assessment. Well, this can change now given the uh, new normalcies in the aviation industry. This might change. You also used to have a heat, uh, height and reach assessment. Then there will be an online English language assessment and behavioral questionnaire, which is pretty easy. And some uh, a web based final interview one on one will be there, which will decide whether you're selected or not. Don't worry, guys, there will be a physical round as well. Uh, but uh, details to that will be given and I'll update you if there is any new update by the airline itself. Let's move on to registration now. Click on the register now form. It doesn't talk about any experienced or fresher crew applying. So we will still wait and see how it goes. Privacy agreement, click next. Okay, now as you see, you need to access and log in, create an account. So username and your password is required. Please identify yourself by providing information required. Click and then click login. If you're not registered yet, click on the new user. So if you are applying, if you're registering for the first time, click on new user here. Otherwise, if you are, you have already logged in or registered yourself before, just log in. If you don't remember your username or password, just click on forgot username and then by after yeah, that you can actually go ahead and reset your username and then reset your password also pretty easy try it it shouldn't be a problem i'm going to go ahead with applying as a new user because i haven't registered myself ever now i'm going to choose um, a nice password and a nice username make sure the password should be 6 to 32 characters long at least one alphabet one numeric you cannot use more than two consecutive characters. Yani ki, you cannot use two times A or two times uh, P, any letter, something which is repetitive because that becomes a weak password. Okay. And username cannot have blank spaces. So at least one alphabet and one numeric character. I'm going to write here. Okay. This is going to be my username here. Let's see password. Okay, I'm going to re-enter my password. Okay, and I'm going to register myself. Say password. Let's see what does this say now. Okay, registration for future opportunities, cabin crew, job number, this. So now you can see this form right here. We have to put personal information, second photos and documents, third declaration and then review and submit. So guys. My advice to you here is do not be in a hurry to fill it. Make sure that you have the best of the best photos and documents, which is your CV or resume or cover letter. If you want to, nothing is mandatory and then only go ahead and submit it. Don't be in a hurry and then realize that we've submitted the wrong photos, wrong documents. We're not satisfied because it's going to be too late and don't keep on reapplying because they can see everything and it looks really unprofessional. Please do not reapply again and again just be very sure of what are you going to apply in the first uh, first space itself and then apply so i'm going to just fill every detail right here that's my first name email id okay i'm going to fill this is pretty easy information okay country code uh, i'm going to select this india your mobile number um region delhi city new delhi so you should know all this information this is pretty easy hmm. date of birth yes i'm gonna fill all these details this is really easy really easy really easy nationality indian okay unique reference number for office use only we don't have to fill anything just leave it blank so if you're not sure save as draft if you're not sure if you're still starting i would suggest you to save it as a draft if you still have to work on your cv or resume if you're not sure 
and then save and continue okay so please read uh, this very important okay attachments are mandatory so to complete your registration please ensure that you have do you attach a recent cv and a photograph so you need to select a file and then the file name here example recent cv and a photograph so if you've selected a file which has your uh, resume your photographs everything just mention it here so they are clear about it right uh, let's actually go ahead and see how does it work. So I'm going to just uh, take a random resume. Okay, I'm going to just upload this one for here right now. So my file is a word file. Also go ahead with these details. The recruiter will be able to see most files including image files. So you can include images that shouldn't be a problem. Make sure that your form is uh, your uh, Documents are in this format only. The search tool that recruiters use to search for candidates will not be able to analyze the content of some attached files, mostly zip files. So just forget about zip files. They've actually mentioned it quite clearly. Attaching or deleting files. To attach a file, click browse and then select, which is very nicely. They've explained everything. So I don't think you should have a problem of anything. Uh, 1 MB is the max limit. I think that's a lot. That's a quite big um space and storage uh, that's quite a good size of a file so it should not anyway increase and go beyond one mb yes just go ahead attach it and i'm gonna write a file name here so twinkle anand photos um resume resume and for toes like this attach so you can see here resume has been attached and there's there are comments so if your resume has a photograph you should write like this or just say um, twinkle on resume with photograph if you are applying if you are giving attaching separate files of photographs or a cover letter just select a file attach the cover letter let me also give you an example of that. Okay, so I'm going to just randomly select a cover letter. Apply cover letter. Make sure that you use only professional language here. Attach. So you'll be able to see that whatever you attach here can be seen here. So now you've attached your resume here, you've attached your cover letter here. You can similarly attach your photographs. If you attach a full size, just write full size photograph, attach your passport size, attach it and write passport size. I'm going to remove this because this is just to show you as an example. This is not actually my resume. Right. Okay, great. I'm just going to say yes. So even if you're not sure, you can delete it and then it will actually only show you this so with this we're going to go and proceed further okay photos and documents save and continue next is your e-signature and declaration so enter your full name um, just to show you please don't Make sure that you're writing your name in proper letters. Like this should be in capital. I don't want to give up. So yeah, this is how it should work. Okay, enter your full name. Email ID. Like this. Mm -hmm. E-signature done, done, done. Then we'll save and continue. Please read everything before you do that. So you'll see all your information filled here. If you're fine by your application, then click on submit. Or if you're still you are not sure, then just save it as draft and it will not be submitted. So just as and when only use submit button when you are 100% sure that you want to put this forward, just submit it. I'm going to show you as an example here. And you'll see process completed. Thank you for completing your online job application. Please check your email for submission. You can see here is the email with the applicant ID and everything. 
so view my submissions you can see that there is this one submission and it is under review you can go ahead and view and edit submission from here so we can do that as well and you can submit once it's done so this is pretty easy i'm going to go back quite easy if you want to withdraw go ahead and withdraw your applications from here uh, view email messages uh, i'm i believe that i'm going to see from here so there's no email message great so i'm gonna go ahead now and show you how the email that has just popped up how does that look like this gmail so this is how my email should look like if you get this you are done sorted that's how easy it was to apply for emirates i hope you found this video helpful it is really really easy there's nothing that you need to fill like it was in qatar airways one more thing that you will be short if shortlisted we will contact you to discuss the next stages so you can expect an email if you only in case you're selected you can monitor current and future um, uh, opportunities from here if you do not re re receive an invitation from us uh, for an interview within six weeks please assume that your application has not been successful on this occasion and then we don't have currently some suitable opportunities for you to be considered so six weeks is the time if you don't get it then you can feel um, not sad but then you can uh, actually consider not before six weeks should you consider that you have not been shortlisted so that's the time you should be hopeful for and that's all for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you did press the like button share this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries questions doubts put it in the comment section below and i will see you in my next video take then take care and bye bye